let's start with Reno let's go what do we have kidney embryology uh, in kidney embryologies this is high yield okay very high yield just the names and what they make so let's go with this pronephros we have the pronephros the mesonephros and the metanephros and the pictures are here the pronephros the mesonephros and the metanephros okay so the pronephros degenerates so it doesn't give us much important anything right it degenerates but the other two are really important mesonephros uh week four of development function as in terim kidney for first trimester okay versus in the male system as wolfian duct which is later going to form dectus deferens and epididymis so in males it forms a wolfian males are the wolves but if in the females what is going to form it's going to form the um the vestigial gardener's duct vestigial gardener's duct okay that's in females very important moving on with the metanephros well it, this is permanent first appears in the week five of development uh, nephro uh, genesis is normally completed by 36 weeks of gestation so nephrogenesis all of the nephrogenesis uh, completes by 36 weeks of gestation in metanephros we have ureteric bird we have metanephric mesenchyme and we also have aberrant interaction between these two tissues so what is ureteric bird well ureteric bird a bird this is a metanephric diverticulum looking at this one it's a metanephric diverticulum coming out of it derived from the coronal end of mesonephric duct it derives from the coronal end of mesonephric duct so this is mesonephric, right? Mesonephro, uh, mesonephros, mesonephric duct. The coral end of this one makes the ureteric bird. Ureteric bird. Okay. It gives rise to very important. What are the structures give rise to? Well, we have ureters, pelvises, calluses, collecting ducts till this point. All the way from ureter to pelvises to calluses to collecting ducts and finally canalized by 10 weeks of development they also need to be canalized to open the tube by 10 weeks of development then you have the met metanephric mesenchyme metanephric mesenchyme i.e. metanephric blastema ureteric bird interacts with this tissue interacting includes differentiation and formation of glomerulus through the DCT so again what they are saying is we we, we form till you till collecting ducts that is all um, that is all ureteric but right so and who's connected with the collecting ducts the DCT distal convoluted tubule so from from the glomerulus all the way from the let me just draw glomerulus properly from the glomerulus all the way towards the DCT is all metanephric mesenchyme or metanephric blastema okay then you have the aberrant interaction between these two tissues may result in several congenital malformations of the kidney. Example, renal age genesis. So if you have uh, an aberrant interaction between these two things, you can develop an age, renal age genesis, multi-cystic dysplastic kidney, 
Okay. So now let's look at this uh, urethral pelvic junction. UPJ. La it, this one is the last one to canalize, which leads to congenital obstruction because this one is the last one. So it, if it does not canalize, it can lead to an obstruction. Can be unilateral or bilateral. Most common pathologic cause of prenatal hydronephrosis and detected by prenatal ultrasound. Okay. So, um, let me see if I have anything written for the UPJ. Well, this is the last one to canalize. We know that part. So if it is, so yeah, important point is, can be detected, right? Detected by prenatal ultrasound. But in developing countries, you might not have this. So those patients, they and they will be born. So uh, newborn with, with uh, palpable abdominal mass and hydronephrosis. Okay, so that's uh, what we have for the UPJ.